Hello guys, we'll be discussing the planning process in LT network today. So I'll give you a brief idea how we do the planning in LT network. And uh, moving forward, we'll go to individual steps to accomplish the total planning process. So starting from, we need to collect information before we start the plan, like whatever information customer or the operator gives us. We need to collect them, population data, demographic, area where to plan the network and all the details which is required, all the data and information before we start the planning, the tools and uh, all the requirements basically. So we will collect the information first, then we'll move to pre-planning, then we will do detailed planning. Then we'll go for cell planning. So here, pre and detailed planning, many things will come in the total planning process. The link budget is there, finding out the cell radius, and you know, what level of frequency available for us to uh, do the plan, and uh, many more things to come. So we'll go one by one. Then uh, we'll go to the cell planning level. In cell planning, we are having these aspects which are very uh, crucial and important to understand before we start optimizing the network. So these are very basic we need to understand and individually we'll go to, to all the aspects and we'll cover them in different sessions. So first of all, we'll do the frequency planning. That means what frequency is available to us. I guess 1.4 or 3 megahertz or 5 megahertz or 10 or 15 or 20. Accordingly, we'll have resource blocks like 100 resource block for 20 megahertz, 75 resource block for 15 megahertz. So, what frequency is available to us? This is one thing. Secondly, ICIC that is a feature uh, intercell interference uh, collab, uh, co uh, coordination. So, in intercell uh, interference coordination, we do uh, frequency plan let's say we are having three different frequencies so we plan the border area or the cell edge with one frequency and inside of cell other frequency and we use certain reuse distance to contract uh, interference in the cell edge so I'll draw a picture for that and I'll uh, make you understand how it happens so let's say this is the cell and this is the border cell. So how ICIC works, I'm having let's say X frequency for this area of the cell. These are cells. Cell A, B, C. So let's say for this this side, I am putting for for this central area I am putting frequency X, and for this outer area I am putting Y. So naturally I need to put more power for this region from the inner B than this area. So two frequencies. So naturally the interference will be reduced. Then I'll again use a Y frequency here. Let's say this one is P, this one is Q. Two different frequencies. So naturally this frequency will not interfere with this one, you know, because I'm using a different one and inside the cell also I'm using a different frequency for this area and a different frequency for the cell is or the outer area. So I'm putting a lot of power for this area to contract the interference. Same thing here. Let's say X, Y and Z and maybe P, Q and R. So these three are different frequency, these three are different frequency and we can use a cell, uh, you know, reuse um, pattern to avoid interference. So this is uh, IC, IC feature. So these things also we need to plan. So that is a little description about the frequency planning. And moving forward, cell ID planning, we need to plan the cell ID. Because cell ID is not the 3G cell ID normally we use, so we need to plan the cell ID first for LT network. Then TAC, TA and TL planning. This is basically 
same as the lag planning uh, in 2Z or the routing area array planning in 3Z. So we are having tracking area in 4G. So for tracking area uh, we do plan. So we are having you know certain amount of node bees planned in a tracking area and again tal. Tal is a super set of tracking area. So within a tal we are having many tracking areas and within a tracking area we are having many node bees. So tag tal plan we need to do will go in detail how it is planned. This is just a overall uh, you know planning process so then PCI planning physical cell identifier so in PCI we are having 168 different groups total number is 503 or 504 so 0 1 2 and then 168 groups mm -hmm. so when we do the initial cell search procedure uh, I hope you uh, already uh, uh, remember that uh, we have a different video for the initial cell um, uh, you know cell search procedure so wherein we find the group in the secondary synchronization uh, signal and, and the primary we get the cell ID that's 0 1 2 or which group does it belongs so we need to plan the physical cell identifier the PCI we need to do the planning there are so many other stuff in the PCI planning also, you know. And uh, the next one is the neighbor cell plan. Unlike other technology, 2Z and 3Z, we do plan the neighbors. Uh, so neighbor is geographically what is the close site of, uh, let's say this is the site, what is the closest site according to the geographical uh, uh, distribution, uh, according to the geography, what are the nearest site we need to add the neighbors. If there is a water body or something so the next site also to be added as a neighbor because we have very um, almost no loss in the water medium and uh, then we'll have the x2 planning the interface planning once we do the neighbor planning we do this then we are having this p planning in p we need to plan uh, you know uh, this root sequence and other stuff so that we'll see uh, detail in a, in a different session so this is all about the process of planning how we do the planning process in LT network information collection pre-planning detail planning cell planning so in cell planning we have frequency planning cell ID planning tag and tail planning PCI planning neighbor cell plans X2 interface plans and uh, PDAS planning. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. In a different, uh, in the next video, we'll be covering each of these aspects and some other important factors like link budget planning, getting the cell radius, you know, understanding the path loss, losses and gains, and many more stuff. Thank you so much for working, watching. Thanks.